This week on Outdoor Bound TV. It's off to Lake Michigan for a little midsummer salmon and trout fishing aboard the Grand Illusion 2 charter boat with our very own Captain Lee Hosh at the helm. Now we'll have to get right down to business because special guests Mad Dog and Merrill are here from the hit TV show Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin'. And they've got the grills all set up, ready to turn our catch into a delicious meal dockside. Take a look at this muskie. Here we go. Got him. We have found the bluefish. I have two bass on. Such a thick fish. That was awesome. I love it. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews and Vortex Optics. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we're in Algoma, Wisconsin, on the shores of Lake Michigan. Now we're gonna be fishing for salmon and trout with our buddy, Captain Lee Hosh. Now we're gonna be out on the boat, and while we're out there, our buddies Mad Dog and Merrill are here from Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Now we're gonna bring back our catch, and these guys are gonna be grilling it up on the dock. So we're gonna hop on the boat, get out on the lake, and see if we can catch something to bring back for these guys to grill. I have two of them. Two of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Looks like a nice one though. It is. It's you know he was running us right away, yep. so <laughs> this one's a long oh. way behind the boat, so we're gonna be here a while. We <laughs> get there. He's pumping, he's still there. <laughs> it's a nice fish. It is. He's got that pole just bent right yeah, over. Yeah, he does. He's been taking lines. So. Well, he's coming closer. <laughs> I think we're probably within 50 yards, but I'm telling you, he's got some weight, so I can't wait to see what's on the other end of this line. <laughs> you know, there's nothing better and fresh salmon and trout on the grill. And I think I can smell the grill started. So I think our buddy's back on shore. I've got something cooking. Let's check in with him, see what they've got going on. He's taking line. <laughs> That's right, Kurt. Don't worry. Mad Dog and Merrill will never let you down. We got the salads cooking. We got desserts cooking. We got the hors d'oeuvres cooking. We got a beautiful glaze. Don't you worry. We got it all going right here. Shore lunch. You probably wonder why I'm not reeling well. He's taking some lines, so I would kind of time it so when I can turn him a little bit, then I'll try to gain a little ground oh, on him. Fish on here. Oh, we got another fish going. Oh, this one's All running. Right. 
This one's Take running again. Thank you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I don't want to cross We're, him. Am I below him? Let's well, switch. Let's switch sides. Okay. <laughs> yep. There we go. <laughs> oh, jumped! Woo! How you doing over there, Kurt? I just saw him. He is a dandy. <laughs> you got a nice fish down there. It's like a nice steelhead. Yeah, looked like it. <laughs> Nothing like the Lake Michigan double. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's fish is coming up right here, and but this king is still staying down. That is awesome. That is an amazing fish. Beautiful, I love it. How are you doing, Kurt? I have not been able to budge him since you, since wow. you hooked up. Every bit I've gained, I've lost again, so. Just running with he's it. Still no, looking, yeah, look he's still looking, he's still going. There, he just got to the surface. Oh. I can see this fish, he just got to the surface back there. Oh yeah, there he is. And it's a dandy. Take a look at that. What a beautiful Lake Michigan steelhead. Oh, that's a dandy. Lake. That is a dandy. <laughs> what you got there, Mike? I have no idea. He's coming pretty good now. He <laughs> made a good run right off the get-go. I think this is on that, what is it, 10 color? Uh, 20 color. 20 color, so we got a ways to go, huh? You got, yeah, you got a long ways to go. <laughs> oh, there you it's go. a good yeah. one. It's a good one. How much line did we have out on this one? Uh, I think he had probably about 17 colors. Okay. So it would have been about 170 yards plus the leader. Yeah. So pretty close to two football fields. Perfect. American ones. You know, your ones up in Canada are a little bit longer. I don't know. You guys don't measure the same way we do. Uh, we're kind of tough up there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a long ways out. Long, long ways, ways out. out. You can feel them. Every once in a while, he gives a really good run. That's oh, it's exciting. a steelhead. It's a steelhead. We're fishing for, for steelheads, kings, the whole work. Yep. And the exciting part is we're going to get to go back and eat these right oh. away. <laughs> you don't get any fresher than that. That, that, I mean, that is the absolute best way is to eat them fresh. Yeah, yeah. From the boat right to the grill. <laughs> hey, thanks again for having us out here. This is going to be awesome. You bet. See, finally got you dirty. <laughs> So this is your first time catching a steelhead or a salmon out yes, here? Yes sir it is. All right. Well you're doing doing fine. You know if you keep the rod at like about two o'clock like you are and, and reel, if you feel the fish pulling real hard and wanting to take line like he's running, mm -hmm. you can stop reeling and let him run. And whenever he's letting you take some line, you know, get it in. different than walleye fishing, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Normally the steelhead like to stay up on the surface and most of them today at least came up like yours did early. Yeah. But then they're wanting, notice they're wanting to dive down. Yeah, right after And they're almost up. acting like a salmon, but that's because the water temperature right now is so warm on the surface. Their instincts are to kind of dive back down and get towards that cooler water. That's a nice steelhead. Oh! He got it. It's in the net, though. got it in that though. Yes! <laughs> Good job, Trev! Look at this! Woo! Look at this! That's a pig! Nice work. Another big one! Good job! Yes. So this is my first time ever out here on uh, on Michigan, before on Big Lake Michigan. First time ever doing any kind of fishing like this, you know, with these big old poles. And that is a work, and I'll tell you what, if you've never done that before, oh, that left is. hand gets pretty, uh, gets pretty sore reeling this thing in. <laughs> But these things fight, man. Like you said, they were coming up and then going pretty deep, making it tough to get in, right? Yep. Yeah, and right when we got them in the net, look at this, opened up the split ring on the bait, and the <laughs> hook came out, but Trevor had them in the net yep. already. We had them already. That's pretty, isn't it? Nice work. That is a dandy fish. Congratulations. So yeah, so we're, Captain Lee's got his back on the fish here. It's funny, Braden just got done reeling one of the nicest, uh, Steelheads I've seen. You know, I haven't seen a lot of them, but that was a beauty. Oh, yeah. nice and uh, next thing you know, Trevor's hollering at us. We got another fish on the go, and it's on my favorite rod with about 77 miles of line out, and we got a good fish here. So 
I'm going to be playing out here shortly, I think. I tell you, talk about fun though, these fish. You know, you spend your whole life sitting on Lake of the Woods catching walleyes all day long. You come so out here and you're like, fight. I can't imagine having a 30, 40 fish day. I'd probably just lay down on the bottom of the boat. <laughs> That's called the no touch release sleep. The no touch yeah. release. It's <laughs> a Lake of the Woods trick. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Another good one for the grill. We didn't even get the other one put in the cooler yet. And we hooked up with this guy. Of course, Trevor's like, somebody come down and start reeling. And I'm like, yep. Next time I'm going to make sure I look at which rod it's on. <laughs> we are hooked up again. I'm telling you. Oh, what do you got there, Kurt? Oh, these bull. <laughs> This one's pulling more than the last one. I'm telling you what, and I'm, you know, this one does not have a counter on it. I'm glad, but I can tell by the lack of colors, it's out there a long way. <laughs> I tell you what, the last fish was pulling, and this one's pulling just like that. He's got the rod bent right over. <laughs> I'm telling you, this never gets old. Weather affects fishing. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Usually right. change is something you're, you know, you're, we're never really sure of. And, and this front sandwiching us a little bit north or a little bit south could have had opposite results. But for us today, we've had good results. That's right. We're out on a mission to see if we can put some fish in the box and <laughs> bring some back to put on the grill. And I know Mad Dog and Merrill are busy back at the dock. So we're gonna see if we can bring this fish in and then head back there and those two are going to grill up some of this incredible trout here on Lake Michigan. I can't wait because I love grilled fish. Now steelhead are really just rainbow trout when you really think about it, but they're called steelhead because they spend most of their life here in the lake and that's the difference. So, you know, if we were in a river, we'd be talking about rainbow trout here that we're out on the lake we call them steelhead either way they're a ton of fun to catch oh there he is Kurt up oh, near yeah. the surface oh awesome it's a black mouth all right a king salmon awesome we didn't expect we that finally, did we? we finally got one <laughs> look at that uh -huh, uh -huh. beautiful fish now we thought this was a steelhead it's not it turns out it's a king you can see see the black mouth and he's got more of a forked tail rather than the straight tail. Either way, just a beautiful fish. Now this is a perfect size to go on the grill. Our buddies Mad Dog and Merrill are back at the dock. Yeah. So we're going to get this one in the box. We're going to pull lines. We're going to head back into the dock. And we're going to grill up some of these fantastic salmon and trout here on Lake Michigan. Hey, it was an awesome morning out on the boat here on Lake Michigan. We've got steelhead, we've got uh, king salmon, so we've got a host of things. Now don't go away because right after the break, we're gonna be grilling up some of these great fish from Lake Michigan with Mad Dog and Merrill from Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Don't go away. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission Crossbows and HHA Sports. We had a great morning out on the boat and it's great to be here dockside with you guys. We're doing from lake to plank. Uh -huh, okay. And you've done plank cooking? I love plank cooking. Yeah. Yep, it's great. It is wonderful. And what I did is I got some nice little cedar boards and I submerged them in water and we have three of them in there because we're gonna cedar plank a couple big slabs. You did a wonderful job today. How many fish did we get out there today? We put 11 in the boat today. We Whoa. had 13 on and we caught 11, so that was a pretty good number. King and steel? King and steelhead bolts, yeah. so a real good uh, variety of what we got on the water. And you've done cedar planking, you mentioned before. Yep, the wonderful thing it. about salmon and steelhead is they both got those rich omegas in there, nice oils, so they're forgiving. 
Just like the television camera used to be. Now with high definition, that don't happen no more. Just like my wife. Too. <laughs> so we got. The, I have a, the, the kings over here, and those were gorgeously. Those were just cleaned by Trevor. Did Trevor clean those today? Yes. Yeah, he did he a did wonderful job. did a good job, job man. Uh, that's the king right there. Merrill's got the steel head over here. And the first thing we like to do, Kurt, is uh, we like to season the outside of the fish. And I'm going to stuff this one, and then we're going to seed a plank of bowl. Ooh, that sounds good. Doesn't I'm ready. Go? I'm so ready. I'm, I'm going to do a little squeezing of lime over the top of the fish. Now, the wonderful thing about salmon, it's got about 40 grams of protein in a six ounce piece of, of, of fish. And it's got as much calcium as a cup of cottage cheese. It's got those rich omegas in there. Merrill's the original free radical. Do you know that? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, he's the original free well, radical. From what I remember. Yeah, and Fast, Fast Freddy was his mentor. <laughs> <laughs> we go way back, I think. So we're going to take a little bit of Mad Dog and Merrill's uh, grilling magic, a little garlic pepper blend. It's lower in sodium, so we don't have to worry about them, how much we use. And I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. We squeeze a little lime over the top of that and just a little bit of, of uh, chili lime seasoning uh, that we mm. found at the store. So that's a chili lime. Whoa. So that's also low in sodium. And while Merrill seasons his fish, Kurt, I'm gonna take a uh, flaying knife that was loaned to me. Don't worry, I'm a professional. <laughs> I see oh that. yeah, yeah. What gang are you with now? <laughs> <laughs> the over the hill gang. The over the hill. <laughs> and I'm gonna cut a nice little pocket in here and as Merrill seasons his slab of steelhead, What's the difference between steelhead and salmon as he does that? Well, steelhead is actually a trout. Now, they look very similar. If you look at yeah. the fillets, they're both a beautiful kind of red color. Steelhead is a little lighter. It's a pink color. But uh, steelhead is actually a trout, and salmon is a salmon, part of the salmon family. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. And, and why just those two this today uh, off Lake Michigan? Well, I think it's a lot the time of the year. We're here in uh, mid-August, and this time of year, these fish are really active. In fact, some of the larger fish are getting ready to make their spawn run as we get into the fall, so they're staging up. Now, we were in some deep water day. We were out 350 to 400 feet to really? find these okay. guys. So they're staging up and getting ready to make their uh, fall migration and, and uh, their run up well, the rivers. That Lee, he knows how to get them, don't he? Hey, tell you good. What. he's a good guy. You know, I, what I would do, everybody, I'd go to Fish Algoma com fishelgoma.com fish that's how you found them that's how i find them right that's on the exactly internet right. That's phenomenal right. thing right isn't there. there i love that <laughs> internet system <laughs> all right i'm going to sort of since we've got the the cherry delight jalapeno sauce coming up after this i'm going ahead and using a little bit of fresh orange juice a little bit of teriyaki and obviously some sunflower oil and then i'm going to top this off with good old grandma hazels nice and simple going to be really good seasoning on that we are going to season the fish up very well with this. It's got the really good flavor in there, too. Ready for a stuffing? I'm ready. Uh, I'm so ready. I, I have the, uh, this is a pre-made cornmeal breading. So cornmeal stuffing. There's a cornmeal stuffing there. We're going to do a little salt to the border because we got the lime on there. So I got a little bit of Hippie Wayne's black bean corn salad. Ooh, Ooh good old salsa. Hippie Wayne. Yeah, we're going to add some salsa over the top of that and a little bit of pepper cheese. And I took my gloves off, so we're going to have to just get down and get dirty. Ooh. Uh, a little pepper cheese over the top of that. So that's our nice little stuffing with a little extra lime inside of there. And all we're going to do is mix that together. Now, the last time we were with Lee, well, he's a good friend of ours. We did a coffee rub over the top of oh, salmon. Man, he was, was telling me about it. It was incredible. It became famous in Algoma. <laughs> the rub that made Algoma famous. <laughs> so all we're simply going to do is take our stuffing, and we're going to place that inside the, 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 uh, the king salmon. And we're going to stuff that baby. And we're going to take our cedar planks. By the way, just in case things didn't happen outright out there, I did bring along the sardines. You know, thank we could have split it you. about five I, different ways. I see you had a lot of confidence in it. Exactly. Thank you very much. Oh, we always do. We always do. <laughs> so, so all we're simply going to do really, uh, Kurt, is we're going to take these uh, planks. These are cedar untreated lumber. There's no green streaks in there. We're going to place the slabs of seal head over the top of that one. That goes Ooh. directly on a grate on a nice high heat right on a high heat over there. We're going to take our stuffed one. We'll slide the wet mm. board underneath there. And the wet one, the, the, the stuffed one's going to take a tad bit longer, but it looks absolutely delicious. That's going to go directly on the grates of the grill. We're going to turn the, put the hood down. In about five minutes, what I like to do is get a little more mindful than rambling like we're doing here. Turn it down to a medium or low heat after it starts to smolder the smoke a little bit, and that way it slow cooks and goes fine. Well, I noticed now you took them out of the cooler in some water. Why the water on the plate? We want a nice cool smoke. Okay. Otherwise they would burn up. And, and, and if I'm type A, you look like you could be possibly type A. We're going like this all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm way down. I think I'm Q. <laughs> 
So while you were on the boat, we took some of Bearcat's beautiful smoked fish. I made a wonderful dill salad with the Ooh. smoked fish that we're going to dig into. Uh, the beautiful little roll-ups we did with our good friend at Mike's Country Meats. Uh, bacon wraps, uh, some cherry delight little desserts, Ooh. some smoked fish, and now the best deal of all. all right. Let's see what we can do here. Thank you, Freddie. <laughs> Here's the stuffed king. Ooh. Just wait. Oh. Here's the stuffed king. <laughs> uh, there's well that beautiful done. stuffed king. Uh, the steelhead turned out lovely. Those are on for about a half hour. Uh, a half hour. Turn it down after the first five or so minutes. Wow. And when you when you uh, when you cut into those, there should be a lot of great moisture left in there. Oh. And it looks oh. like just absolutely oh, wonderful. So those baby. look good. The stuffed one. <laughs> Wonder what that tastes like. Yeah. Mm, Let's get them for like both cameras here. Oh, oh fish. nice. Yeah. So the stuffed fish turned out just absolutely wonderful. That should be delicious in there also. So we're just about ready to eat. So how many seasons have we been with, have you been with uh, Outdoor Bone? This is our 10th season on ABC and Wild That's TV. Great. So yeah, we feel pretty fortunate to be right up there with you guys for... Uh... We're, we're, at, we're at nine or 10 to ourselves, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yes, that we are. yeah. Right. Freddie, Freddie, he's been playing that keyboard for us for a couple of years. Yeah, now. we, we have. Yeah. Him. <laughs> hey, we're gonna, we got the plates, we got some yeah. great guests. We got Lisa and Lee and some fine guests here in Algoma. Fish Algoma. Mad Dog and Merrill and Outdoor Bound. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Acme Tackle and Mountain Dew. Hey everyone, it's been a great day here in Algoma, Wisconsin on the shores of Lake Michigan. We're getting ready to enjoy some of the great treats that our buddies Mad Dog and Merrill made. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Markham Technologies and Rapala. On this week's show, we're in Algoma, Wisconsin. Isn't that nice? Now we're gonna be fishing for salmon and trout with our buddy and pro staffer, Captain Lee. Oh, I screwed that up. Right on. Awesome. My hand is sore, that's what happened. That's a lot harder than it looks. Oh, it's a steelhead. The steelhead? It's a steelhead. 